What's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I've got a pretty cool stack of new to me but used discs that I've gotten from used bins over the last few months. I've got pretty much a brand new 2018 Sexton Firebird. I found an exact replica of one of my favorite discs that I got that I still have and throw from when I very first started playing disc golf. Some really cool first run Paul McBeth signature discs and a couple more gems that I'm super excited to actually come out here and throw for the first time today. So I like keeping you guys up to date on what's new, but I also have a pretty steep passion for finding old money runs out of production discs that I've never gotten to throw before. Maybe some stuff I feel like I've missed out on or maybe special plastics and molds that they haven't run that plastic in that mold for a very long time, but maybe they ran it once or twice a long time ago. So I've got a bunch of really cool older used discs that I'm excited to share with you guys today. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite. But anyway, let's go give everything a quick try. All right, so the first disc is something I'm really excited to actually test out in that stable nine speed Thunderbird type slot. I've been really falling in love with the super old Latitude 64 Goldline discs. And I got this Goldline Saint Pro reliable overstable control driver and Flight numbers are 8603. I'm expecting it to still be pretty stable, even though it's old and in gold line. I'm gonna put it out on a little bit of Anheuser. Let's see how stable she is. Oh, that's nice. That is really perfect for that pushy, but still stable slot. Now the next disc is something that I think a lot of you Discraft fans will be pretty excited about. You don't see these in used bins literally ever, because everybody that bought one still bags it. And it's the first run Athena. The stamps have been wiped, but you can see in the right sunlight that it has the first run stamp on the right there, first run. So we got two of them. We got a nice pair of sort of beat in yellow first run Athenas. I can't believe somebody turned these in willingly. Just a very, very good stable run of Athena. To get that level of stability out of a seven speed, usually you need fairway drivers with a bead. These are beadless and still very stable. It's a kind of the feel of an FD, but the flight of a super stable T-Bird. Both just flying absolutely money, super stable, very easy to control. Um, a disc I'm really excited about. Now, one of the first discs I ever got when I first started playing disc golf, I played the Pasture Open 2019 when I really started to get serious. I was poking through the used bin about two months ago and I found an F5 from the same tournament. I have no idea who turned this disc in. This was the one I got in my player's pack and this is the one that I got out of the used bin. And I'm really excited to see if I officially have a backup F5 because this F5 is one of my favorite fairway drivers for that exact shot right there. Look at that flip. Easy distance, easy flip, easy to hit gaps with. Now we got the yellow beauty as well. Oh yes. Maybe just a hair more stable, but I don't think I threw them exactly the same. Seems like it flies relatively similar. Now we've got, this is probably the best one of the bunch. I think I paid 18 or $20. Somebody launched a website where they were selling a lot of their old discs. They were launching their website and they put a lot of cool gems up on there. And I was able to actually get a brand new unthrown 2018 Sexton Firebird. This was one of the first disc golf discs I ever bought my 2018 Firebird. And to have a brand new version of the same run. These are so hard to come by. They resell for like 80 to a hundred dollars. So to be able to just get my hands on a fresh one for basically retail, I was super pumped. And I'm curious to see how stable a new one is versus the one I've been throwing for 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, at least five to six years. This has really never left my bag. So you can see, I mean, that thing's almost straighter than the Athena's. So I'm really curious to see how a fresh one flies in comparison. And this may get a spot right into the bag if it's super stable. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's quite a bit dumpier than the one I've been using for years. We've got two discs left here. This is one that I'm really excited about. It's a 2010 stamped JLS from Millennium. I believe this is the Eagle L mold, and you very rarely see Eagle Ls in lighter weight. So I'm hoping we can get that nice Eagle L feel, but a little bit more hyzer flip than I'd normally be able to get out of an Eagle. Oh. That's got a super flip to it. Wow, okay. We're gonna have to make sure we go find that one. And the last one might be the one I'm most excited about. Maybe you guys wouldn't be the most excited about this one, but I lost my favorite meteor. I had the super old ESP meteor from 2007. But in the used bin today, I got the Glow Flex meteor. Super old school Glow Flex. And to my experience, Flex Plastic was a little bit more stable than uh, most of the ESPs or Zs. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the overstable meteor of my dream. So we're just gonna trust it flat up in the air. Wow. And that is a beefy meteor. Anyway, pretty excited about some of those used discs. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you think is the coolest. Do you like going through your used bins? I know I do. I know I find it really fun and I could just look through used discs for hours. I'm going to find a few things that I just can't live without. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.